heat to <laughs> and it's just not as thick. It's like, uh, no. You guys are going to witness the best part here. So for the base, last time we used bananas, but this time we're going to use pineapple. Mm -hmm. I already started working with it. Oh, my hands are so cold. Probably. Everyone complains about how I say milk. I don't understand though. Like, oh. <laughs> Let's go. Not add more milk. You, you want a smoothie bowl, not a smoothie. Okay, guys, so I'm gonna just cut. Yeah. yeah. We got flowers. <gasps> flowers! So excited. So let's just jump right into the first smoothie bowl because I can't wait. First is a three ingredient smoothie bowl, a cherry and banana one. So if you love cherries and you love bananas, then this smoothie bowl is for you. It's so simple because all you need is three cups of frozen cherries, three cups of frozen bananas, and just a little bit of liquid. I use milk, but you can use like any milk or I think you can use like apple juice or something. I don't know. But I recommend milk, so yeah. So I'm gonna just measure out my ingredients in these bowls, but as you know, if you watch my first thick smoothie bowl video, you would know that you always need a base. So that can be bananas, pineapple, maybe mango, I'm not sure though. So but for this smoothie bowl, I'm gonna use bananas. So three cups of frozen bananas, and I think it's just this whole thing, so I'm gonna just pour in this whole thing. And the key to, <laughs> and the key to, and the key to, oh my god! And the key to a creamy smoothie bowl is frozen bananas. I got it right, oh my goodness. Okay, so what I do for my creamy frozen bananas is I just chop up some bananas at night and then I freeze them overnight and I just always have bananas in the freezer and then they're always ready for my smoothie bowls in the morning. So that's all you need, frozen bananas. It never works with uh, normal bananas. I mean, it does, but it's like, I don't like them very much. The bananas overpower the smoothie. It's just not as thick. It's like, uh, no. And now I'm gonna use three cups of frozen cherries. And my grandma was obsessed with cherries, so I love making a smoothie bowl that I know she'll absolutely love. And it just reminds me of her, so that's why I always love to use cherries. Okay guys, so I got all my ingredients in the blender. Like I told you, you always need a base, so I put my bananas first, then I put in my cherries, and then I put in a fourth a cup of oat milk. And by the way, I did do it off camera, but next smoothie bowl I do, I will show you the full process. I don't know why, but. <laughs> so now, let's blend. It's all ready to blend up, and this isn't our workout, but we'll do it together. Okay, I'm blending it up, guys. I know you love this process, so let's do it. I am blending it up, so let's just go. This isn't arm workout, but I mean, I mean, a never arm workout never hurts anyone, right? We're working hard for your couple servings in there. Oh my goodness, you guys, we have to taste this. It's so good. 
I recommend this smoothie bowl so much. It's so creamy. It wouldn't pass a flip test though because one, we really try to get that swirl and that mixes it like over mixes it and then like really blends up the fruit so it gets like less thick and more creamy. But if you want a creamy smoothie bowl, this is definitely the one. So delicious. I'm gonna finish up this smoothie bowl and let's move on to the next one. Next, I'm gonna make a four ingredient smoothie bowl based on like dragon fruit. Dragon fruit is one of my favorite flavors to use in, in smoothie bowls because I don't know, it's always just like family favorite. We always are like, what's your favorite smoothie bowl? And we always say dragon fruit. So I'm gonna teach you how to make one of my favorite smoothie bowls ever and so let's go. And last time you guys asked a bunch of questions about dragon fruit and so this is what I use. If you can't find dragon fruit in your like local store or whatever, look for pataya right here. And these dragon fruit packets are just so helpful. I never can get them open though, but it looks like today I'm gonna be lucky. So <laughs> let's just go. So for the base, last time we used bananas. But this time we're gonna use pineapple. And let me just tell you, we got this one at Trader Joe's instead of Whole Foods and look how pretty that packaging is. Sorry, I just had to give a shout out to Trader Joe's for their packaging. And this says it has three cups in it, but I only wanna use two cups, so I'm gonna leave a little bit in the, I'm gonna leave a little bit in the bag. So let me just eyeball it. Next, and next I'm gonna use these peaches, and I only want to use two cups again for the smoothie bowl, so I'm gonna eyeball it. And let's add one packet of dragon fruit. This, I, I already started working with it. Oh, my hands are so cold. Just rip it, it apart, like so. And let's see if it, oh, that, yay! Oh my goodness, you guys, I have never had a, I think I talked too soon. I've never had a successful packet of dragon fruit that didn't take me that long to add. Okay, this one wasn't very successful, but it definitely was quicker than normal. Guys, if you see my TikToks, you know I time lapse through it. it. Takes me quite a long time to get my dragon fruit packet out. Now that my hands are frozen, I, mean, I can set this pack aside. I just wanted to show you that this is the brand I use, and then we're gonna add a fourth cup of oat milk. I'm gonna show you this process now, but I'm gonna just add a fourth a cup of oat milk. Everyone complains about how I say milk. I don't understand though. Like, I don't, I just like, can't, I don't hear the difference is the problem. Like, I would change it if I could hear the difference, but milk and milk, 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 I don't know. You guys need to help me down below, okay? Oh. Okay guys, I got all my ingredients in the blender, like so, and let's just blend this all up. Need to make sure it's on the right setting, and let's go. and you definitely will think here that you need more milk because you see all that frozen fruit and no liquid, but no. You just have to be patient, go through a couple more cycles of blending and that makes it a thick and creamy smoothie bowl. Make sure you put a spoon in there, scrape all the sides, flip it a couple times, and make sure the bottom is now at the top. And I repeat, this is the time you do not add more milk. You, you just have to get a spoon in there, and scrape everything up and just blend again. It's okay. Oh, it, it takes a while, but that's what makes a good smoothie. You don't want a bad smoothie, do you? You want a smoothie bowl, not a smoothie. Okay guys, this only took two cycles, and as you can see, it's super thick and creamy, which is exactly perfect. what you want with a thick smoothie bowl. No, oh my goodness. My arm's so tired, I can't even scoop this out. Okay, It's called efficiency. 
This smoothie bowl is super creamy, super thick. I didn't get to do this, but look at that. It's so creamy at the same time, which is amazing. Like normally with like thick smoothie bowls, sometimes it's not as creamy and like silky smooth. But this is super creamy, as you can tell. Let's taste it. That is so good. A dragon fruit smoothie bowl. So always a hit. I'm so excited. Let's move on to the last smoothie bowl. Okay, for my last and final smoothie bowl, it's gonna be three ingredients, an optional fourth ingredient, which is granola, but that's just a topping. So, this is gonna be an acai smoothie bowl. This smoothie bowl I don't normally make on my TikTok because I don't love acai, but also when I do make it, it's definitely a treat because it's good every once in a while to have something different. So let's just get right into this last smoothie bowl. First, as the base, I'm gonna use, it says about two cups of frozen mango chunks. Again, you always need a great base. And normally for like an acai smoothie bowl, you're gonna use strawberries and blueberries, but if you don't wanna measure that out or if you don't have that, like those resources, you get it. Is that necessary? Then you can just buy a berry blend and add the whole pack. I'm gonna add this whole pack, a berry blend, berry, berry blend, berry blend of strawberries, blackberries, blueberries, and raspberries. It's a lot of berries. It is my tooth. And I'm gonna just add this whole packet. I love this packet. This packet has more strawberries this time. One time I used a berry blend where it had two strawberries. It was so disappointing. And last but not least, for the fruit, I'm gonna use this acai packet that has melted because I took so long to do this. Okay guys, so I'm gonna just cut. Karen. Yeah? I got flowers. <gasps> flowers! They, they smell good. so good. These are going in my room. But who sent them to me? I don't know. There's juice coming out of my acai packet. <laughs> and let's add one packet of juice. Uh, Acai. This could work as a liquid. And obviously you have to add your fourth cup of oat milk. I said I was gonna long shot this. And of course we have to blend this all up. blended almost fully but I do have to mix around a couple ingredients because the tops the top isn't fully blended I do think Sorry. I do think we should have added a little less liquid just because I think the acai packet was a little bit too melted and like I didn't add as much like solid frozen fruit like pineapple or something but it still should be okay so let's just go in with the second blend cycle Okay guys, this smoothie bowl is super thick and super creamy, but try not to let your acai packet melt before you use it, but still works out perfectly. Well, not perfectly, like very, very, very well, I guess. But, <laughs> the size comparison, we love that. I need to make sure I have the bowl ready before I scoop stuff out. Oh my goodness. Will you? Her and her jokes. She doesn't make much of them, but when she does. Sure. Okay guys, and I feel like every single time I've ever used acai or had acai, I've always, always, always topped it with some granola. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna flatten it. I'm gonna flatten it out more than I normally do so I have a good little section for it. I don't think I've ever had an acai smoothie bowl without granola. But I feel like it just like goes with it. But I've never, I never normally have smoothie bowls with granola. 
Okay, so I flattened it out a little bit more than normal. I'm gonna just take my pretty spoon, miniature smooth. It's not miniature, it's just a normal smooth. That's a miniature spoon. And I'm gonna just sprinkle some granola. Okay guys, well this is the last smoothie bowl all complete. Look how good it is. Let's just drop the smoothie bowl, focusing on the granola. But it did turn out pretty well. Super creamy, super thick. Let's try it. Let me get a little bit of granola in there. A little bit of acai. Mm, 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 mm. Acai dance. The last thing I do want to remind you is the key to fix smoothie bowl is not to add too much liquid. I love you all so much. I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure you comment down below to let us know what you want to see next. Yes, and comment down below if you want to see a part three and what smoothie bowls you want us to make because we definitely want to make smoothie bowls that you guys want to see. So thank you guys so much for watching. I love you all. Peace.